beef masters have been long regarded as a versatile maternal breed. But a recent USDA feed efficiency study points out that beef masters bring significant value drivers to the cattle feeder as well. Beef master cattle are the key to an efficient cattle operation as it relates to maternal, growth, and carcass traits. Today we'll review the results of the USDA feed efficiency test and hear from cattlemen that appreciate beef masters for their efficiency, maternal traits, and proven heterosis. Hello and welcome to the American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. Feed efficiency is important for all sectors of the beef cattle industry. Cattlemen have known this for a long time and the challenge has always been finding a cost-effective way to raise cattle more efficiently. With this challenge, beef master cattle are gaining attention as the beef industry seeks out efficiency genetics to bridge the gap to optimal and cost-effective production practices. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Superior Livestock is proud to announce a new partnership with Biozyme Inc. Since 1995, value-added calf programs have created premiums when calves sell on Superior's video auctions. Traditionally, when ranchers think of adding value, it is derived from a quality health program dependent upon vaccinations. But together, Superior and Biozyme are putting a new twist on creating premiums for healthier cattle through a mineral supplement program. Healthier cattle are more profitable, and now cattle that have been fed a Vitafirm or GainSmart Amifirm-based mineral supplement for a minimum of 45 days prior to auction will receive the Vitafirm or GainSmart value-added logo in Sapir's catalogs and on-screen as the cattle sell. Vitafirm raised targets cow-calf producers and is for calves that are raised on a Vitafirm fed dam and or was fed a Vitafirm mineral themselves during pre-conditioning for a minimum of 45 days prior to the auction and through delivery. GainSmart targets stalker, feeder, and backgrounding operators and will recognize calves that have been fed a GainSmart mineral for a minimum of 45 days prior to auction and through delivery. For more information, go to superiorlivestock.com or call 800-422-2117. Welcome back to the American Rancher. The demand for beef master cattle has increased over the years because beef masters have the optimum traits needed to excel in efficiency. Earlier this year, the USDA's Agricultural Research Service conducted a feed efficiency evaluation at the U.S. Meat Animal Research Center in Clay Center, Nebraska on 18 beef cattle breeds. The feed efficiency test results ranked the beef master breed second for average daily gain and dry matter intake in both steers and heifers. For years, beef masters have been recognized as solid feed yard performers with superior health, lower cost of gain, and superior feed conversion rates. Feed efficiency, coupled with higher yielding and improved dressing percentages, adds a new layer of added value over the top of today's grid pricing mechanisms. Feed efficiency is really critical because the cost of production, at least 60-70% is related to cost of feed. So if we can reduce feed cost or the feed inputs by our cattle but maintain the same level of productivity, we're going to have a dramatic improvement in overall profitability. So if we truly want to make an impact on total beef production, we should be focused on how to make the cow more efficient. There's no doubt that uh, maternal efficiency is going to be really improved if we use maternal heterosis combined with terminal heterosis. So the combination of selecting sires and heifers within breed and then taking advantage of crossbreeding heterosis at the same time, you're just combining the benefits of both. If we can improve genetics of efficiency in the post weaning animal and it translates into efficiency of the cow, then we hit a home run. 
Feed efficiency adds value to any beef cattle production. Over the past decade, new technologies such as GrowSafe systems have emerged as a means to collect detailed individual animal feed intake data from which individual animal feed conversions can be extracted. With the inclusion of this powerful new individual intake and conversion data, researchers are now conducting exciting and new feed efficiency evaluations which are identifying more efficient animals. The Noble Research Institute is a preeminent agricultural research institute located in Ardmore, Oklahoma, and its mission is to deliver solutions to great agricultural challenges. We visited with Dr. Evan Whitley, who is the manager of their Center for Advanced Agricultural Systems and Technologies. He is also a significant leader in beef cow efficiency research. I think it's important when we talk about efficiency that we we come at it from all the angles of, of efficiency when we're talking about beef cattle production. And so over the last couple of years we really focused in on feed efficiency, but that's not the only source of efficiency that beef cattle producers have to be focused on. So we as a group, especially um, in the systems group, we're, we're trying to take that that basic science and apply it to a, a real world setting, but do it in a way that's going to benefit a producer from a holistic perspective. And so we're looking at technologies that will allow them to become better decision makers. We're looking at, at, at products that may not be well used right now, like artificial insemination, and look at the differences that, that a conventional producer might implement and then tweak that system so that we can better assist those producers either directly through our educational services or indirectly through our consultation services so that we're a proxy for them to become more efficient not just in one area but from a holistic perspective. From a business perspective it's increasing output, reducing inputs, or doing the same at the same time. And I think that's a really good analogy when we talk about crossbreeding because you're essentially doing those things. So we know that the heterotic effect of crossbreeding is going to increase your weaning weight and it's going to increase your longevity of your cows. So in one sense you're reducing your inputs because now you're expanding the, the lifetime of that cow and that cow herd and you're increasing the weaning weights over the lifetime of that cow. And so again, if you just go back to that basic definition of efficiency, it's probably the first front line as producers think about how to become more, more efficient. It's the, first, it's the first question that they need to be asking because again, it, it's directly related to improving your efficiency on a whole herd basis. The impact of feed efficiency on cattle feeders is obvious. Identifying genetics that gain more while eating less is a recipe for profitability. The owner of PX Feeders is Donald Parrish, and we visited with him about his feeding experience using the GrowSafe system and how the Beefmaster cattle are performing in feed efficiency. These are the first Beefmaster cattle we've had. Uh, these bulls are, are real aggressive eaters. The health has been relatively good on all of the Beefmaster cattle. Their average daily gain is really good. It's tr tremendous. It's probably somewhere in that 375 to 380. And there's bulls here that will go over five pounds a day on a high fiber ration. On the warm up, uh, these cattle came in on the steers. And during their warm up, they put on about 265 a day, I believe, or 270, something like that. The Beefmaster cattle are, are really gentle. They're easy to handle. And normally, anytime cattle are easy to handle, they will do better. The better they convert, uh, the more valuable those animals will become. Over the past 10 years, the beef industry has focused almost exclusively on quality grade and finished cattle. The push to improve marbling to earn the carcass premiums that come with it, coupled with relatively inexpensive corn, has distracted many cattle feeders away from the importance of feed conversion to total profitability. Cattle with better feed conversions have fewer days on feed and lower cost of gain, resulting in serious cost savings for their owners. 
These feed efficiency upgrades come with even more value in the case of beef masters when you factor in advantages for dressing percentage, which lead to more pounds added to your grid pricing worksheet. We'll have more on the efficiency of beef master cattle when we return. Collier Farms program is time tested. One of the most important things about how we develop our bulls is that they're tested in a big group so that we can identify those individuals that excel above the crowd. We know what goes out and works for the customer. Those customers come back every year to keep buying bulls because they work. Join Collier Farms at their 2017 performance bull sale on November 18th in Brenham, Texas. STBBA is the oldest satellite association within the Beefmaster industry. The goal of the satellite is to assist members in the promotion and marketing of their cattle through the sponsorship of several prestigious sales throughout the year. Don't miss these upcoming sales from the South Texas Beefmasters Breeders Association. STBBA also provides an opportunity for both social and business contacts, meeting new breeders, and exchanging ideas in order to further involvement in the Beefmaster breed. For more information, visit them online at stbba.org. Emmons Ranch of Fairfield, Texas has built their herd with proven, predictable, and profitable Beefmaster cattle backed by 40 years of experience. My focus on our Beefmaster operation is producing cattle with predictability. Our goal at Emmons Ranch is to produce superior seed stock and to produce heavily muscled bulls for the commercial man. Contact Steve and Cindy Emmons at EmmonsBeefmasters.com. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Efficiency doesn't stop at the feed bunk. Beef masters add efficiency through a powerful heterosis kick that will improve fertility, longevity, health, improve pay weights, and overall profitability. Thanks to the strong Boss Indica space, beef masters are truly unique among composite breeds. According to geneticists, beef masters post 63% retained heterosis which is a great advantage on the maternal side. It seems like the beef master and beef master crosses are, are starting to pick up, you know, a little more demand to them. Uh, I've even had several friends now that have that are swapping over to them and you know are looking at them and uh, it seems like the beef master cross, either female or using beef master bulls back on just crossbred cows or black cows. Is, uh, is getting a little more higher demand than what you've noticed in the past. And here in the last couple years, we decided to try to venture off and try the Beefmaster bulls, trying to just see how they work out, like the thickness and the muscle and the meat and the, and the bone in the Beefmasters, and just wanted to try them out and try to raise some replacements out of them. We've probably got close to 80 calves or so on the ground out of the beef master bulls and we're really liking the calf crop. They seem to be real growthy and the females is what we're after mainly. And the female calves we're seeing, we're really liking. We've got some thickness to them with some bone in them and some depth of body and still keeping a feminine look to them. I think the Beefmaster breeders, are, you know, for one, and the Beefmaster Association is, is, is doing a better job now of getting the information out there that these red hided calves can go in there and, and feed and grade and hang upside down just as good as a black calf. On our calves, the same buyer bought the Beefmaster calves that buys the black calves. He bought them right there with them. It did, I mean, they were loaded on the same trucks as the black calves did. He didn't dock them or anything. They brought the exact same money as the black calves. Other cattlemen throughout the country use Beefmaster bulls on high percentage Angus cows in order to yield results that keep the cowman in business and the feed yard happy. This popular cross anchors the maternal equation with progeny being 75% British and 25% Brahmin influenced. There is enough boss indicus to ramp up maternal heterosis while maintaining market and carcass acceptability of the Angus Hereford Shorthorn influenced. Being predominantly black hided and showing very little ear or navel, calves of this cross consistently earn branded premiums that other black hided calves earn. 
The biggest difference is the extra pounds of pay weight and replacement females that stay in the herd significantly longer than straight boss Taurus cows. All of this thanks to heterosis. By crossbreeding, gaining the heterosis effect and breeds that complement one another well, we have a finished product that consumer loves, efficient production system throughout the life of the animal, and mama cows that work well on the ranch. At the feedlot level, we could have cattle gaining four and a half pounds a day. We're after three and a quarter. We want them to convert uh, six pounds of feed to one pound of gain. We can do that and still have cows that work well and still produce meat that's of a high quality for the consumer. Many breeds talk about how adaptable they are, but beef masters prove it. Two of the largest markets for beef master bulls are the high desert of the Northwest region and the Gulf Coast region, which stretches from Mexico all the way to Florida and the Atlantic coastline. Ranchers in these widely different environments use beef masters to anchor the maternal needs for their commercial operations. Roaring Springs Ranch, headquartered in the high desert of southeastern Oregon, covers one and a half million acres and is in the business to sell boxed beef through the Country Natural Beef Program. So the ranch relies on beef master cattle to provide a solid, well-rounded beef product all the way from the pasture to the plate. The unique part of the high desert region of the United States is the big wide open spaces. Uh, grass plants are fairly far apart and a cow has really got to be able to cover country to make a living in this part of the, this part of the world. This ranch is big, it's big country and we need cows that will travel. Our cows graze year round on native bunch grass plants uh, very limited to no hay or outside feed brought in. We use salt occasionally, we use a little protein supplement occasionally, but not, not a considerable amount of any supplemental feed. One thing that's really important is good feet and legs. This country's pretty rocky, and if cattle don't have good feet and legs, they don't survive. The Beefmaster really benefits our breeding program because it does that. It gives us cows that, number one, will get pregnant, number two, will have a live calf, and then raise that calf to a weaning weight that we can work with and make a yearling out of. Gulf Coast conditions provide a totally different set of challenges for ranchers. Hot, very humid conditions with lots of low quality forage coupled with unprecedented insect and parasite loads makes ranching in this region very challenging. The challenges of maintaining body condition scores and getting cows bred back make beef masters a great choice in this region. Likes Brothers Incorporated, headquartered in Okeechobee, Florida, has been synonymous with excellence in agriculture in Florida for many years. The Likes Ranch is a progressive leader in Florida agriculture and has an impressive cattle ranching operation that utilizes beef master bulls on their females for the proven heterosis advantage. About three years ago, uh, we started buying beef master bulls again. Um, we went uh, a few years, three or four years without, without using them. We kind of come to a conclusion that we, we really needed them. They bring a, a lot to our cattle and, and to our program. We feel like they uh, they just absolutely put some bone and some, some meat and some muscle in our cows, some hide, um, just, just beautiful females is, is what we're after and, and I think that's what they do for us. Beef master bull users in these two very different environments tend to be large scale commercial herds. The feeder calves produced from these large herds go directly into some of the beef industry's best known branded beef programs. Beefmaster sired steers have earned a reputation for meeting the carcass specifications for these demanding programs and being the most profitable cattle in those supply chains. It is easy to see that crossbreeding with Beefmasters works for commercial cattlemen from all over the United States. Simply put, Beefmaster crossbred calves on the average are better performers than their straightbred parents. Crossbred calves are more vigorous at birth, and faster growing calves will perform better for almost every trait. 
ultimately making you more money. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Performance, pretty, and pedigree. Swing and Bee Ranch has built a strong reputation for raising the right kind of bulls for the commercial cattlemen. Owners Mackie and Norma Jean Bounds understand the importance of performance data and collect carcass results on their yearling bulls and females. They take pride in their practice of DNA verification, genotyping, and feed efficiency testing to ensure the best cattle are sold to you. Call us today and learn more at swingandbeeranch.com. LOBBA is one of the oldest satellite associations within the Beefmaster industry, and its membership consists of Beefmaster breeders from throughout Texas and at least 12 other states. Check out these outstanding sales coming up from the Live Oak Beefmasters Breeders Association. The satellite hosts numerous events annually, including seminars, field days, three sales per year, and they're a major sponsor in the National E6 Commercial Beefmaster Sale held every spring. For more information, visit them online at LOBBA.net. The key to profitability is identifying the genetics and management scenarios that fit the marketing program or supply chain that your calves will eventually wind up in. In other words, streamlining your product to fit the system. There are some basic steps every cattleman can take to increase efficiency. The industry has known about these tools for some time, but have not correctly capitalized on them. Crossbreeding is the simplest way to implement efficiency and will yield the greatest return for commercial cattlemen. The benefits of direct and maternal heterosis have been documented time and time again. Implementing an organized, controlled crossbreeding program will make your entire operation more efficient. Including beef masters as a key ingredient will allow you to squeeze more profit out of your program. For more information and a look inside how the Beef Master breed offers proven maternal traits, proven efficiency, and proven heterosis, check them out online at beefmasters.org or like them on Facebook. And while you're there, check out The American Rancher and like us as well. Or you can visit our website, theamericanrancher.com. We want to thank all of our generous sponsors for helping bring you this inside look at Beef Master Cattle. That's all the time we have today. For the entire American Rancher team, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. We all know the damages flies can cause to a herd of cattle. Studies conducted by institutions and universities in the United States and Canada show that even small infestations of flies can cause pain, irritation, and weight loss in animals. Economic losses exceed $1 billion a year to American ranchers. In addition, Flies cause a decrease in milk production and impair up to 18% of bovine weight gain. But now, Champion USA brought Just a Fly to the United States. Champion USA is a company originally from Brazil that has been successfully fighting the horn fly for more than 15 years. In that period, more than 30 million head of cattle were treated in Brazil. Justify is a feed additive that can be mixed with any supplement that will be ingested by cattle. Anyone can mix it with no special equipment required since it's non-toxic and leaves no residue in meat or milk. No restrictions apply. Justify is eliminated through cattle feces where it acts against fly larva, preventing its growth and breaking the fly's reproductive cycle. Use Justify properly and behold, a herd without flies. Justfly increases ranchers' margins by helping to control the flies. There's a lot of economic impact uh, on milk production and uh, meat production on cattle when they have the nuisance of the flies. So, and it only costs about 
roughly three cents per head per day for fly control. There's not many other methods of fly control that you can get for that kind of cost. Any ranch, large or small, can and should use Justify, a most effective and high return method to get rid of flies. Highly recommend Justify in the general cattle herd, but it's really benefited us in the show barn. And as we wean calves and we put a large number of animals in a confined space, and they've been exposed to this product, we continue that in that space, and it continues to help reduce the stress and helps us with weight gain when those cattle are freshly weaned. Would highly recommend the convenience of the product. Uh, the availability is really good. Not a lot of waste in terms of packaging. We're, we've had great success with it. Want a herd free of flies that can reach its maximum potential? Purchase Justify through championstoreusa.com forward slash shop or amazon.com. You can also ask your local reseller. For more information, call 1-800-898-0987.